Andy Whiteman. Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. The First Minister will be aware of proposals by the City of Edinburgh Council to close one of Scotland's national centres of excellence, the City of Edinburgh Music School. I declare a personal interest as my daughter is an alumna of the school. Can the First Minister confirm that funding for Scotland's national centres of excellence across the country continue to be provided by the Scottish Government? Does she agree that the City of Edinburgh Council does not have unfettered discretion to close the school? And importantly, will she consider how in the near future the financial arrangements in place to support all of Scotland's national centres of excellence can be restated and made clear to ensure that staff, parents, pupils and future pupils have clarity and certainty about the future of these world-class facilities? First Minister. Well, firstly, uh, I agree that these are world-class facilities. Um, in answer to the specific parts of Andy Whiteman's question, yes, there is uh, specific funding for the school, although that is now rolled up within uh, the total local government settlement. Uh, we highly value uh, the role of all six centres of excellence in Scotland, including the City of Edinburgh Music School. Uh, the Scottish Government has been engaging with the City of Edinburgh Council on this matter. Uh, of course, it's only a proposal that the Council is considering at this stage in its budget consultation, but I do think uh, the Council will want to reflect the fact that uh, these centres of excellence, including uh, the music school, allow children and young people across Scotland the opportunity to receive expert tuition in their specialism, in this case, music. That's something uh, very valuable, and I, I think there's plenty of evidence of that, and I'm sure the importance of that is something that the City of Edinburgh Council is reflecting on carefully. Morris Gould.